Greetings, Internet. Sneaker2112 here with special guest. Zuna14! It is 1943 Eastern Daylight Time on, what is it, Thursday, the 3rd of June, 2010. exactly what day you record. <laughs> oh, where am I going? Teach their own. Uh, oh, that's where I'm going. You're going to go find something to kill. Yeah, basically. Samus is a brutal bitch. <laughs> well, the hey, thing I is... talked about it in Rikers one, so I talked about it here too. Yes, and, and Zenav is being a very good sport here because he's just done a whole lot of guest commentary on the same game. Hey, I don't mind. It means I get to pass the game twice. <laughs> twice as much fun. But this time he's bashing it live. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I I just forgot that I'm not taking like mega damage every time I'm exposed to the atmosphere. Yeah, that kinda helps. I'm only taking a quarter mega damage. Ow. Yeah. Okay. Had enough of these. You know what? I could just run past. It. Oh wait. That was... I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Although, say, there's, there's one thing I kind of like about you versus uh, Raikou, and you seem to not favor the super missile everything in the face. <laughs> well, for one, thing, for one thing, I don't have super missiles yet. Yeah. And for another thing, I'm, I'm much stingier with missiles than Raikou is. I was that same way whenever I played Metroid games. I in general, most of the time I'd like, but only even like bother using them unless like I knew I was going to desperately need them for a fight. Yeah, um, I don't know if you saw, if you saw, it was one of my previous videos, but, um, my, my, I was fighting Dark Samus and my guest said, and make sure not to use missiles on her because she'll just deflect them, and I said, oh, I didn't know that, that's how little I use missiles. <laughs> All right, bees. Just be aware of that guy who has a magic pen that shoots bees. Because if you have to fight him, I guarantee you're going to die. Which guy? Uh, some guy from a game that's not even um, uh, that's not even this game. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, I guess I'm going to go return the energy because the game won't let me leave this place until I do. Yeah, that's a good idea. Although, I kind of wondered what would happen if you just said, screw it, I don't want to return your energy, I'm going to steal it from my <laughs> own evil bitch. <laughs> but apparently the game says, butt down must. <laughs> I oh, hate butt down must. In the, in the, uh, in my... In my first uh, Super Paper Mario video, I didn't go along with the uh, butt down must, and I got a game over. Oh yeah, I remember. I, uh, actually, I saw that. I was, I, I saw that you had like a non-standard game over, and I was actually guessing that it was uh, from not putting the helmet on the game. I feel like there are a lot of like screw you moments in that game where it's like, like if you use an item in the wrong place, it doesn't give it back to you. It just like, okay, you don't get that now. I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit. I'm having trouble hearing you when there are loud noises. Oh, it's not the game's fault. It's trying to kill you. <laughs> uh. Oh, and I'm lost. The game's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. A rock smash. <laughs> All right. One thing I. The game for being effective. What one thing I. One thing I will do about as much as Raikou is get lost. Oh god. <laughs> don't tell me you don't- don't tell me everybody doesn't know how to use a fucking map. Well, I will consult it, but... <laughs> I hey, will not- I've seen Raikou, he'll look at the map, he'll be like, okay, that's where I need to go. And then like five seconds later, WHERE DO I NEED TO GO? <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, Raikou, do you have ADD or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I whoa. Oh, jeez, that Again, was scary. I know a guy that's even worse. Although the only bad thing about this guy is he believes that everything that he believes that luck determines.
happens to everything, which is silly because he probably has the he probably has the equivalent of luck of God. <laughs> He's but, the guy who could like take a die, like you know, a hundred sided die, roll it fifty times, and I would say it's half those, it's gonna come up a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Which guy are you talking about? I lost you somewhere. Um, you happen to know a person named Captain Blue? Oh wait, he was a guest on some of Raikou's videos, right? Yeah. W was he the the British guy? No, um, uh, he was the. Uh, I think he was. For, he was there for the Omega Pirate. When I uh, did the really silly chipmunk voice. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> I actually had not told him at all that I was planning on doing that. I was just like, <laughs> I was actually just thinking of silly voices to use for some of the final bosses, and that's when I came up with the. Ashley and, uh, chipmunk voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. So, so the, ener the energy comes back minus the, uh, whatever Samus took to refill her energy. Well, yeah, she has to, she has to, she has to store some, because, you know, she's, she's planning on being evil later on. <laughs> it's payment for services rendered. I mean, I remember, I, she does turn partially evil in Metroid Prime 3, from what I've heard. Oh, did you see, there was like, there was a trailer out for it, it was, it was so silly, it was like, you know, she can feel the corruption, and the strangest thing is, she likes it. Oh god. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> if that is true, please, please, someone kill the people that made Metroid Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have yeah, Do you have a love-hate relationship With these games or is it just hate-hate And you play them anyway It's hate-hate but I play them just for the hell of it Because I unfortunately have something To prove to the game to say I'm better than you <laughs> yeah, this, this is my favorite One of the three um, I don't know why maybe I'm just a masochist But uh, The first one was mine but that was a I, but, um, but that was primarily because I actually have mastered the art of sequence breaking in Prime 1. Ah. Uh. You know, the get the, get the uh, space jump first, and then go around sequence breaking to get shit I wasn't supposed to. Like, use the glitch scan jump? Yeah. I never knew how to do that. It's not an easy jump to pull off. Yeah. And for, especially for a lot of people who, more or less, have their heads stuck up their own rear end. Yeah, I, uh... I, I always wonder how people discover these glitches, but then I remind myself that I'm not looking for them. <laughs> there are some people that just basically, you know, say, Hey, I wonder what happens when I do this. I don't know if you've heard about it, but there's a glitch in Ocarina of Time. You do, like, all of this random stuff, and then it will, like, then, like, all the medallions will just appear wow. in your inventory. <laughs> and I thought it was freaky the fact that I basically um, beat the Shadow Temple first out of any of the others. Yeah, it's like, um, I think now the, uh, the record... The record time for, for beating the game is less than an hour because this guy glitched through the door of time and then used this other glitch, so he didn't go through a single dungeon except Ganon's Tower. Huh. I, actually heard, I actually heard that there was a possible glitch to get out of Kokiri Forest without ever having to uh, beat, I mean, without having to, you know, get the, em the emblem there, but I never actually, you know, just studied to find out what it was. Probably a bunch of stuff I'm missing around here. Oh, there's all the stuff you're missing. Are you planning 100%? Yeah, um, scans and items. Oh. As I believe, uh, a certain boy would say, you can F off if you want him to do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know I've missed some scans, but I haven't missed any of the, like... The gone forever? Yeah. Yeah, basically boss that scans for yeah, and I, I hadn't remembered, like, but the the guy that becomes a bomb guardian, you have to scan him before the, he's the bomb guardian, you get, like, five seconds. It's like, jeez. Yeah. You basically get just about enough time to scan him, then he turns. It's yeah. Like, oops. 
Ah, I hate these things. That's why they're there, to make hate. <laughs> I mean, you haven't noticed yet, the basic of the game's idea and concept of fun is hate. But, maybe Retro was just anticipating people doing this, like, Oh, the more the more dick moves we make, the more fun people will have uh, making these videos. <laughs> yeah. And I think you were the first. You were the one who came up with the Samus playing Tetris on the elevator thing, right? Actually, actually, I originally saw that in a web comic, and they were joking about that. Like as she was riding the elevator, she was sitting there like playing. Little NES game, various NES games on her, um, uh, on her little visor while she's waiting. <laughs> you know, she's sitting on 